welcome student in this video we are trying to complete our practical number 8 that is performing the data clustering using the clustering algorithm so before we are started writing the program we will try to understand what is the clustering algorithm and the benefits of the clustering algorithm so the clustering algorithm is an unsupervised method where the input is not labeled sir labeled matlab kya simple bola jata the last exam jo kiya tha last video mein hum logo ne वहां पे हमने देखा था कोई तो वर्जन का था कोई तो सैंटोसा था मतलब लेबल हो गया था कि ये पर्टिकुलर पेटल लेंथ होगा ये सेपल वेड़ होगा तो फिर इसका नाम वर्जनिका होगा ऐसा था वो चीज इनपुट इज नॉट लेबल्ड वन एंड प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग इज बेस्ड ऑन एक्सपीरियंस दैट द एल्गोरिथम गेन्स आउट ऑफ सॉल्विंग सिमिलर प्रॉब्लम एज ऑफ द ट्रेनिंग शेड्यूल दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ क्लस्टरिंग एल्गोरिथम सो क्लस्टरिंग इज यूज्ड टू आइडेंटिफाई ग्रुप्स ऑफ सिमिलर ऑब्जेक्ट इन डेटा सेट्स with two or more variable quantities in practice this data may be collected from marketing biomedical or a geo specialist databases among many other places so the major types of clustering algorithms are basically center based or a partition clustering hierarchical based clustering distribution based clustering density based clustering and a fuzzy based clustering now we are trying to take the help of decision tree Now, decision tree can be also used to perform the clustering. Decision tree normally supervised learning may happen, but the unsupervised learning may be asked with a few adjustments. On the other hand, the new split criteria must be discovered on construct the tree without a knowledge of the sample label. Now, when we don't have a knowledge about what this thing is called as, then over there we are able to go for creating the decision tree as an example of the clustering algorithm. so what is the decision tree we will try to understand that so decision tree is the most powerful and popular tool for classification and prediction the decision tree is a flow chart like tree structure where each internal node denotes a test of an attribute each branch represent an outcome of a test and each leaf node or a terminal node holds a class label chota sa example dikha hai maine decision tree should i accept the new job offer or not so decision tree says that root node salary should be at least 50000 if no then decline the offer if yes then commute more than 1 hour if yes then decline offer matlab the person's criteria i need to reach to the office within a one hour speed no then okay offers free coffee or not if yes then accept the offer if no then decline the offer so these are term to be my root node where they are going to have some child's point and the child's uh, which does not have any sub child they are termed as what a leaf node so this is how the decision tree looks like so strength kya hai decision tree ekdam simple decision trees are able to generate understandable rules decision trees perform classification without requiring much of the computation decision trees are able to handle both continuous as well as what your categorical data decision trees provides a clear indication of which field are most important for prediction or classification is it of use a decision tree scalability available hai decision tree mein missing values ko tolerance deta hai decision tree and handling non linear relationship is also like complex data sets can be handled very nicely by using the decision tree and it can it has a ability to handle imbalanced data that is the basic advantage or a strength of the decision tree decision tree ke weaknesses bhi hai kya hai dekh lete hain decision trees are less appropriate for estimation task where the goal is to predict the value of the continuous attribute to wahan pe aapko regression or linear hi use karna padega yahan pe aap decision tree ko zyada use nahi kar sakte decision trees are prone to errors in classification problem with many classes and related to the small number of training example and decision trees can be computationally expensive to train time bahut zyada consume ho sakta hai so they are the basic points which are related with what your decision tree are the weaknesses of the decision tree so now develop the decision tree program by using the r studio so i had started my r studio in my earlier video we had learned with the algorithm that is called as knn so we have developed this particular knn r the script file is already available on our telegram channel you can download it from there and now let us go with creation of a new r program 
where we are implementing a decision tree. So here it comes. I'm planning to go for creating a new R script. The new R script, I would like to name it as test decision tree extension. You know that it will be by default R. The package which we need to use it is basically party that can be installed by using tools. Then go to the install packages and please provide the name of the package as party. Or you can provide a command also at install.package party. Now that the package is installed with me, so there is no need of reinstalling the game. Now let's move ahead for writing this program. First, I would be importing the library of party by using library in the bracket party. Further, I would like to use some data set. So I'm implementing the data set or using the data set of reading skills. So reading skills is a default data set provided by R. So let's see what kind of columns are present. So that reason I'm using the print and the head and some few records. And here I'm providing my data set name as reading skills. So let's select this one and execute it. You can see these are what the columns which are there. They are called a native speaker, age, shoe size, as well as a score. So these are the values which have been available inside this reading skills data. Now, if you want to keep printing, you can print in the head every time. There is no need as such. Now, I'm interested in creating a data frame from this reading skills because there are n number of rows are there. I would like to take first 100 or first 105 rows. So here I'm creating the data set, data set by using the input dot dot. This is the name of my data frame and assigning the value that is called as reading skills in the square bracket array name C and first row to 105th row. I would like to take all columns. I'm taking all columns. So this is what my data frame is, which consists of the rows from 1 to 105 from the reading skills data and all columns are being taken. Moving ahead, I would like to go for uh, started creating the PNG file to plot the output on it. So here it comes. I am just providing PNG file equal to maybe any name. I can provide the name as abide.png. So it will be printed on abide.png. Moving ahead, C tree calculation need to be done. So it has been done by uh, and the data frame need to be generated. So I am using over the output dot tree. You can give any other name of the data frame and using a function called as ctree in the bracket the column name you know that the column names are basically native speaker so i'm saying native speaker need to be find out along with the combinations of age shoe size and score along with that i would like to provide the data from where this data will be taken, that is our input data frame. That is nothing but data equal to input dot. Find so output tree has been there. There is an output decision tree need to be plotted on the PNG. So I had to use plot output dot tree. So why output dot tree? This is the name of my data frame, which consists of all the decision tree contained. And that is being printed on the away dot PNG and further. I am just trying to switch off my development environment so the file will be also saved. I had selected this entire script. I am trying to execute the script. So I execute the scripts. It provides me the issue that reading skills does not found as true because reading s s is need to be capitalized. I executed this and you will find the output has been generated. So I can't see anything on a plot. See we are not plotted like a last program on a plotting area we plotted on the file so you can get the file output over here besides the plot this is files you can just arrange this as per name you will find a file called abide.png open this file and this is what my decision tree is it says if my score is less than 0 0.001 right then check the age as per the age then check the score so this way the decisions are what being classified so this is the classification type of algorithm 
where if suppose the labelings are not been given, it can be used as a cluster algorithm also. So this is the example of our decision tree which we had used for our practical number 8. Thanks a lot students. Please uh, subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon as well as uh, if any issues are there, please comment it out.